The very little things that break up relationships and marriages. In marriages and relationships, it's not big things that break relationships. Just very tiny things that you don't even think that will be possible for you to break relationship are the things that break relationship. For example, you tell your partner you talk too much. Woman, you're always nagging, you're always talking. You stop talking too much. You're always shouting at your partner when they want to express their feelings. Those little things, you don't know it breaks relationship. And the funny thing about it is that women are meant to talk too much. Women, I'm so sorry, don't come back at me on this one, but I'm saying the reality. Women are structured in a way that they are meant to express themselves. If you are living in a house with a woman and she cannot express herself, my brother, you better run. Because women are meant to always tell you how they feel. If you treat a woman good today, that day she will be singing and singing till night comes. Anytime you treat a woman good, she will talk. If you treat her bad, she will also talk. So men, please, it's not good to hide her feelings inside her body. Because anytime she does, that's danger. So it's good women also allow your partners to tell you how they feel when any situation arises. And when they talk, that's communication because communication is the key to every relationship. That's a, that's, that communication is the only thing that makes relationships healthy. Because when you communicate, you are reassuring your partner. That's what it means. When you communicate with your partner, you are letting them know what is inside your own heart. For example, your husband went to work and it's time for him to come back and you are calling his phone is not going through. You get worried. Now, you, you expect him that when he gets back home, he will say, oh baby, I'm so sorry, while on the way my phone died. And to your surprise, your husband will come back and say, Woman, why are you disturbing me? Do you know what I was seeing on the road where I was? You saw of you to ask me, how was your day? You are here asking me, I came back late. That's not right. And by so doing, the woman will shut her mouth. And when she shut her mouth today, she shut it to everybody who start doing, Hey, we are mature people in this house. Everybody will be wearing a mask. Little by little, your relationship will be having issues. So communication is very, very important. So husbands allow your women to express themselves is very very important. You guys men if you do not understand anytime a woman start to keep things in her heart for you my brother is not a good one at all is not good. So leave them to talk. The kind of marriages that our parents married years back is not what we are marrying now. Is not what we are marrying now. This time around, a woman knows that she's a woman and she has her right to express herself. But those days, our mothers and our fathers, the kind of marriage they had, they were like anything their husband said, they would take it like that. They don't mind. But now, women are more aware, women are more educated, women are a lot about themselves and they have the right to express. But most men, they, they want to still bring them down. And it's not good. So, the things that break up marriages and relationships, is when you hear it, you won't even believe that those kind of things can break relationships. But the bad thing about it is that the more you keep piling those little things, you don't settle them out. The more you keep piling them, the more you don't resolve issues as they come. The more your wife complains, you don't reassure her. Those things will build up and build up and build up and before you know it, the love is done. The love is gone. Because love comes from reassurance, especially we women. When you keep reassuring a woman, you own her. <laughs> if you keep reassuring a woman, she's your property. Both in relationship, both in marriage. But when you keep leaving a woman to be in her box, she will complain. You bush it her. She will complain. You tell her, Madam, you are talking rubbish. Madam, you, you like to nag. You talk too much. You talk too much. She will be keeping those things in her mind without expressing it. And by the time you know it, that the love she has for you is gone. And you'll be wondering, is this not the woman that says she loves me very much? Is this not the woman? Is this not the same woman that told me I will die for you? Okay, she told you she will die for you. But now, she cannot die for you because you don't reassure her. You don't, don't, don't communicate with her. So my fellow brothers and sisters, even women. So women come now, even when their husband wants to say you complain. Or guy, anything I do, you complain too much. What kind of a man are you that you are insatiable man? Why? Why will you tell your husband that he complain too much? If your husband is telling you something that you do that he don't like, allow him to talk. 
allow him to say it because it's when he said those things that you yourself as a woman will pick up and say ah this thing my husband complained about it last time i will not do it again yeah but you do better that's what relationship is communication brings a healthy relationship but when you do not communicate is a big problem it poses a problem in every relationship so my brothers and sisters let's take it this way today i really appreciate you guys for stopping by and supporting me please subscribe like my video and share i'll be bringing you guys exciting videos as we move along thank you so much love you guys Mwah.